I don't know. Honestly, there's so much going on already in here. And now this. I don't even know where to start. I'll tell you one thing. The air in here is different. Definitely different. Nowadays, the air feels like like one of those bullies coming in from out of town trying to claim his cells and his blocks, right? Except if you see it like I do, he's trying to claim this whole prison because every man in this wing is scared for their life, scared from an unseen enemy, if I could put it to you like that. You know, you used to be able to trust the air, right? You know, breathe deeply, as they say, use it to calm your spirit, envy it and what have you. Not anymore. If you look at it like, like the way I used to see it, the air was the only thing in this place that can go past the prison guards, make it past the gates, past all the hardware that locks us in and, and take freedom out for a night on the town and then come back and tell us how it was. And now we can't trust it anymore. And shelter in place and stay safe at home. That means something different in here. Not with the air. That which gives life becoming your biggest enemy and trying to take us all out. And with the guards running the fans all day and night, circulating the enemy, doesn't help. Just terrorizes us so you can't sleep. And you can't see it enough to, to knuckle up and go toe to toe with it like you would with anyone trying to test you in here. You can't slap box with this kind of God in the mess hall. Yeah. Dad, uh, I tell you, I, I wish I could cuss this thing out of existence. I haven't used profane language in 12 years, but this is testing me. Testing me worse than, than that time I got jumped in Cincinnati for wearing the Detroit shirt on my back. Or, or, or that, that man that used to chase me to school as a kid. You can't, you can't fight this kind of bully in here, Elder. This ain't sparling and mound where you can just post up on the corner and see your enemy coming around so you can just brace yourself. This right here, this right here ain't got no face. And it's taking these men out. Healthy men too. Men, men on their way home from doing long numbers. I mean, man, I thought I had seen it all, but this unseen bully, not like this. And now, now we stuck in here with what to do. I tried to paint to kill the time, write poetry like I do, even catch up on some reading, but my anxiety has its peak. It's like, it's like every page I read is the same words and I can't retain them. Now I'm hoping that this just, just all ends soon and they open the resentence so we can find ourselves chasing down the best hamburgers in Western Michigan. <laughs> Maybe, uh, Maybe, that'd be nice. Maybe we could even catch a game on the way back and you can talk to these young boys about the game of life the way you did with us when we were young. Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Hey, uh, hey dad, I appreciate you, you ministering to us. I'm serious. Thank you for spending time with me. Even if you're not here physically, I know you can hear me from out there. I know now, I know now your only ministry is my release, but I need you to stay home. Auntie too. Okay, I gotta go. Um, my soulmates might think I'm losing my mind in here. Uh, Hopefully this time will will help me get my 
my senses back somehow. <laughs> Be safe. I love you, Dad. See you soon.